I'm going to put a disclaimer on this. Um, it's a little too low for my range, so at some points I'm just going to jump the octave. It's going to be awkward, but I don't really care. Um, I promised you guys I'd play this last week. So, here it goes. I'm not going to play the entire song either. I'm probably going to stop. Um, eh, I'll stop whenever I feel like it or when I really mess up. Hey, Jude. Um, that was Hey Jude, with my tabs and my lyrics, um, because I can never get the lyrics right when I don't have the song actually playing. Um, and I would just like to point out, this is the greatest known invention to man. Greatest invention known to man, that's what I meant to say. Um, I'm gonna put my guitar away, and then I'm gonna tell you this really awesome story that I kind of wish it happened, even though it kind of scares me a little bit. I recorded this once, but I kind of, it looked like one of those confession videos, because like everything from here on up was cut off from the video. So I moved my camera back and I'm moving myself back this time, so you can actually see me. My head is in line with this, so clearly I'm in the shot. Okay, so, <sighs> basically everything on my mind yesterday kind of culminated into this like really trippy dream thanks to NyQuil. Uh, yesterday I not only, you know, talked to Alex and told him that I liked him and found out that he liked me too, um, I also was talking to Janelle and everything about going gay for her and I remember right before I went to bed my sister was watching the Jonas show. Okay? And I went to bed early. I went to bed at like 9, 9.30 because that's just how crappy I was feeling and I took NyQuil before I went. And, um, sometime this morning, because this was right before I woke up, um, I had this dream. And for some reason, my room was twice as big as it is 
now. And there was a lot of room here. I remember that there was a lot of room in this little L that I've made for myself. And Alex and I were like, <sighs> Alex and I were like lying in bed, just, you know, not doing anything, just sitting there, you know, talking. And he told me that girls scared him. And I was like, well, boys scare me sometimes too, especially you, because you make me all nervous and stuff. And he was like, oh, you shouldn't be nervous around me. And I was like, I know, but I can't really help it. And the conversation went on from that. And at some point I had to go to the bathroom for something. And I don't remember what, I don't think I actually had to like use the bathroom. I just needed to go in there for something. And I was like knocking on the door and being really obnoxious because my sister was in it. And I was like, let so let me in, let me in, I need to, you know. And she opened the door and not only was my sister in there, but this random Mexican lady that I've never seen was in there with her. So they come out of the bathroom. I went and I don't remember what I had to do in the bathroom, but whatever, it happened. So then I came back into my room and the Mexican chick was here. And Alex was standing there, like, awkwardly and looking awesome, like he normally does. And uh, <laughs> for some reason, this Mexican chick was like, you guys need to find, like, the perfect outfits, like, now. And I was all, yeah, yeah, we totally do. I don't know what for, but we totally need to find good outfits. So I, the main thing I remember from this is just opening my shirt drawer and finding, like, the left half of it was all jeans and the right half of it was all my shirts. And I don't know how it happened, because it's not physically possible because I can't even fit all my shirts into my shirt drawer. I'm hanging half of them. So I was like, whose clothes are these? I remember like yelling that, whose clothes are these? And then Alex like reaches in and pulls out the top pair of jeans and he's like, oh, these are mine. So <laughs> he like, changes into these jeans, and I'm like, well, I need to change my shirt, you know, and we're changing, it's not awkward, because we're not facing each other, because apparently my subconscious mind thought it would be awkward if we were, so he, he changes into jeans, and I change my shirt, and we're like, oh yeah, we're perfect, let's go, and all of a sudden, I'm transported to the stage, and I'm pretty sure it was my high school auditorium stage, um, because it, it kind of goes like this, and it's black, right, and then the audience is behind me, and the, uh, the orchestra pit is down beneath, but the orchestra pit was, was closed right then, so it was just a, a full stage. And, um, we're just sitting there, like, we're sitting on the edge of the stage, like, here's the stage right here, this is the end of the stage, and here's, like, the middle of the stage, and we're sitting right about here, facing the stage, like, on the stage, facing it, like this. But instead of Alex sitting next to me, it's Janelle. And I was like, hey, I love you, but where, where'd Alex go? We are having fun, you know, and, um, she was like, oh, don't worry, you'll see him soon. So, you know, with that little cryptic message going on, and I was like, okay, cool, let's, let's hang out on this stage for no discernible reason. And, um, all of a sudden the lights went down, and this, like, multicolored strobe light started going, and this announcer voice announced that there were going to be dance crews, and so a couple dance crews came out and did their thing, and it was all fun and games, and then, Janelle was like, come on, we need to move over to the side now so we don't get, like, trampled. And I was all, I'm with you wherever you're going because I don't want to get trampled. So we go over to the side of the stage, like, where the audience can't see us. And, um, the Jonas Brothers are there. Only they're blonde. No, no, Joe was not blonde, but N Nick and Kevin were. And I remember just looking up at Nick and going, Van Halen? Because he had, like super long blonde hair, but it was curly because his hair is curly, right? And I was just like, this is so weird. But then Joe Jonas went to like fist bump me, but my arm was back here. So I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, you know, so I missed his fist bump. And then we ended up like, like high-fiving or whatever. And then I was like, no, 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 I need a fist bump from Joe Jonas. So we fist bumped and then Nick came along and I fist bumped him, even though I was like, you're kind of weird looking right now. And, and then Kevin came along and I was like, I can't fist bump an engaged man. I don't know why, so I shook his hand. I figured that would be a little more appropriate. I don't know, really. But, um, so they go out on stage, and Janelle and I are kind of like, oh my god, we just met the Jonas Brothers. And then we look out on stage, and they're like, the Jonas Brothers are doing their thing, and they're like, oh. <laughs> and they're backup dancers. And Alex is one of the backup. I don't know why NyQuil does this to me, but it kind of scares me. Um, I love you always.